drought conditions have impacted farmers in Kansas, perhaps most of all, with dry air and high temperatures lasting throughout the season. 13's Aja Carter dug in to just how they're doing. Aja. I spoke with an agronomist today who says the unpredictable weather has stunted the growth of crops across Kansas. Dr. Tina Sullivan says up to 98% of the state is suffering from a level of drought. And if we don't get precipitation around the times of planting, say corn or soybean, wheat, what milo or sorghum, really whatever we're planting, it's going to take longer for that plant to actually come up and germinate. If we don't have moisture and we don't have heat, they aren't going to do anything. They kind of just sit in the soil. Farmers across Kansas have been experiencing this since summer. It's kind of that central portion of the state that suffered pretty badly from those drought conditions where we've heard of yields from three bushels an acre, which is extremely low yields, to some soybeans getting up into the 30 to 40 bushels per acre. In June or July, that a lot of northwest corn, we kind of thought about it being a dry, hot summer. There was a hailstorm that came through in northwest Kansas and stripped, so pulled all the leaves off a lot of their corn. Even parts of southeast Kansas, typically an area with more moisture, found itself in 10 inches or more in deficit this season. The weather has pushed some farmers to take action early. Central Kansas, such as Ottawa and Saline counties, back in August, early August, we had, uh, I was hearing from some farmers that they were going to go ahead and chop, so cut their corn early because they were going to run out of moisture before the corn could even have enough rain to produce corn yields. Dr. Sullivan says the issue affects everyone the longer it remains. We may see some differences, maybe minuscule, it kind of depends on what's going on at the time, in the cost of um, beef. Because when our corn and soybean yields are lower, we don't have as much materials to feed the livestock. Not saying they're going to go hungry, but the sometimes it's the price of those. We have a link suggested by Dr. Sullivan where you can sign up for agronomy e updates on our website, www.com. Let's hope those rain chances pan out this week. Aja Carter tonight. Thank